stock market, stock market this week. Um, my last time taking calculus was at the academy. And it was so helpful. You don't have to know it to be able to do the updates in the models, but it makes you better at your job. Um, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and I gave a speech in Spanish. And the last time I studied Spanish was at the academy. So just, and that's just this week. So for the teachers out there, you have made such a difference to so many of us. Getting through COVID as a mayor, you had to really understand science. Again, that was the academy. One thing I didn't appreciate about being an elected official until going through 2020 is you're often asked to interpret events for the community and then to try to provide some meaning or understanding. Uh, COVID hit during my first year as mayor, so that was a rough rookie year. Being back in this building brings me a lot of memories of my senior year. One of my classmates and good friends, my chemistry lab partner, Manoa Pahola, was killed in a very tragic car accident. It was hard to understand that loss and to interpret it. And the academy really changed the curriculum. We, we changed a lot of our classes to talk about loss, how different cultures understand loss, what the great books of faith say. I made it through that difficult experience a better person because I was part of the academy community who could help me interpret it. And those lessons I take today, when you're in the mayor's role, sometimes you see people on their very worst days when they've lost children, family members, you talk to the mothers of city employees who've been injured or killed in the line of duty. And sometimes you see people looking in your eyes and just trying to understand, is it gonna be okay? I look back to that senior year at the academy with when I try to interpret and, and provide meaning. So I'm, I, I would not wish that type of loss on anyone, but to be part of this community when it happened was so meaningful to me. And, and so thank you to everyone who was part of that experience. And thank you to the teachers who shaped me and, and so many others. It's so wonderful to see so many friends and familiar faces. So thank you for the, the now so many students who have benefited from the teachers in this room. This is also my first time being back in Albuquerque since I lost my mom to cancer. I would not be here without her. Um, like any student at the academy, you have to have your parents' support to go on this journey. And she was incredibly impactful to me, and I'm so honored tonight so many of her friends were able to join me. So thank you for helping me honor my mom tonight. And then I have a, one final thank you. The year I just, uh, decided to run for mayor, I had a baby and got divorced and moved. I do not recommend doing all of those things at once. <laughs> I almost did not run for mayor. I sort of displayed my personal life to the people of Phoenix. Uh, the divorce, because I got divorced from a congressman, was, at least in the political bubble, very, very prominent. Growing up in Albuquerque and then moving to Phoenix, I had never lived in a city that had had a female mayor while I lived in the city. And so I didn't fit the image I had of mayor, and then I don't know that many elected officials who pursue an executive office with an infant. So originally I was not going to run, but then I had uh, great support, and, and my friend Mary McCoy, who is here, helped me take the leap. So lots of thank yous tonight. Thank you to the Academy and this whole family. It's an honor to be with you.